Olden Aki here with another Halo 4 campaign mission, and this one is a zero shot pacifist speedrun on Reclaimer. Uh, and it obviously is on legendary difficulty. But uh, zero shot essentially means that you cannot fire a, a handheld or vehicle mounted weapon. And pacifist basically means uh, one cannot uh, kill any living thing. So in this particular mission, the, the only things that I actually uh, aim at are with a uh, target designator, and I use that uh, three times, and um, I don't kill any living enemies, I only, uh, I only deal with the uh, two particle cannons and the gravity well. Other than that, it's just I just run by everything. Okay, we're starting the mission off as usual for a speed run. Coming out to the left, get the mammoth going a little bit early. And come on down here and jump on board through the side door. Yep, and at him. Okay, go grab a uh, jetpack. And uh, for other speedruns, I'd go ahead and grab a sniper rifle, but I, again, I'm not using any weapons. So, uh, or ha handheld weapons. Uh, I'm just putting the target designator on the uh, two particle cannons and the gravity well, and that's about it. So, I don't need to swap out any weapons. Now, uh, timing speedruns is generally from the beginning of uh, control, player control. Uh, which on this particular run, I think it was right around 29 seconds into the run, to loss of player control, which is right after the final target designator shot when the screen turns white at the end of the mission when they take out the gravity well. And based on that criteria, I believe I did this run in 14 minutes and 58 seconds. I'll let the uh, powers to be determine the actual official time. But based on my knowledge, it's probably a world record. I think it can be beat, but anyway, let's go jump off the mammoth here and head over to the uh, ridge on the right. Our key was Commander Lasky talking about the cubbies digging in on the left. And I'm just following this path here. And I'm essentially following the, the same path I, I've used in all my uh, speed runs. And we're going to run this little rock to a jump jetpack up to this ledge right here. Get full boost back on jetpack and then jump straight up. Jump jetpack straight up. And then onto the rock up here. And run off the back edge. And jetpack right at the last second to slow descent. And run along the edge of the acid screen. Jump jetpack over the. Uh, Pelican there, grab the target designator, put the target shot designator. on the particle Over cannon, and jump down. down here. Target acquired. So I'm just about getting my health coming back. Here it comes. Alright, grab the ghost and haul it behind this rock right here. And then come back, and we're going to go up this little ledge here. Maneuver the ghost on up, get up here, and Myself turned around pretty good, so I'm hoping I don't get killed by the wraith. Swing around over here, and then we're going to boost and nose up on the ghost. That's with the jump key to press, and then right at the last second, pull back on both sticks so the landing is as gentle as possible, and then follow this path. And we're going to run the gauntlet here. Now I'm coasting right here momentarily to get my full boost back, and then I'm off and running. Got two phantoms overhead, plus cubbies on the right and cubbies on the left. And uh, surprisingly enough, we can make this uh, make that run uh, the vast majority of the time. Okay, now I'm just following this path up here. All right, I'm going to coast a little bit to get uh, full boost back. And right up here, add the nose up on the ghost again. Again, that is. Pressing and holding your jump key, whatever that may be, that'll bring the nose up. Makes it a lot easier to get up over those rocks. Okay, a little boost back. I'm going to come up here, park the ghost, 
look to the right and jump out. You'll jump out in the direction that you're looking. Okay, here we go. Now we're off and running. Good. Run, run, run. Notice that I'm sprinting and then doing three bunny hops. It generally takes about three seconds to get full sprint back. So I figured three bunny hops would be about three seconds, and that's how I time it, my own internal clock there. And we're running towards that ghost that you can just barely see off in the distance, or I can barely see anyway. Gypsy Company moving out. I'm gonna grab the ghost. Get set up for our next skip. Bring it up here to this big flat rock and move our way up. Might have been able to do it a little bit quicker, but that's okay. Jump out. And then run into that rod face and boost. Uh, running into into something and jetpacking will uh, give you a extra boost. Put the shot on the particle cannon and then come on up here. Now we're going to jetpack down to the lich. Easy does it. There we go through the open doorway here. Down to its power source. Melee. Throw a grenade. That takes care of the lich. Notice I did not fire a shot and that's not a living thing so my pacifist no shot uh, run is still running. It's still going, I should say. Okay, notice we jetpack. We ran out the door, jumped down, and uh, jetpack down and grabbed the ghost. And I'm going to wait for this invisible wall to disappear here. It will momentarily. And now to the next skip. Take the ghost up here. This is, this is a pretty neat one here. And, uh, and which I need because, uh, well, t at the end I'm going to be using more time than I would normally do on a speed run. But anyway, notice I, I jetpacked right up that rock face. Now here I sprint, jump, jetpack a little bit, and then jetpack and coast, jetpack and coast, jetpack and coast, trying to get across the chasm. Don't want to run out of jetpack, so it's like a little boost, a little coast, a little boost, a little coast, just to get across. There we go. And I'm going to run into the rock face and jetpack again, like so. Right up the rock face to the next level. And we're going to sprint. We're going to do that again. Right here, right as black mark is. We're sprint into the rock face and jetpack up. Sprint, jetpack up. Get that extra boost. And we, we essentially cut 30 seconds off of the time it would have taken to jump the acid streams out ahead of the mammoth and substantially more time if we'd have just ridden the mammoth out. So that's a speed running technique. Okay, I'm just following this path here using sprint and jetpack and bunny hop. I want to get I want to invoke a checkpoint. Snipe rally which is right here. Turn around and go back. Oh I invoked the checkpoint. That was a beam rifle sniper. And now we're going back the way we came. along this rock face here or the cliff wall along in here and this is kind of a newer way to jump up the uh, rock face pass that little rock right into this one and boost up pressing yourself into the rock face to right about here a little jetpack back and then boost up again and we're up on top all right sprint and jump and jetpack across here Alright, run into this rock and jetpack. There we go. Jump and jetpack down. We're going to jump right on this little ledge here, get full jetpack back, do a sprint jump. We're going to ease our way around the corner here, looking for a hole in this invisible wall, which is right here. And it's actually a soft kill zone, but we made it to the ledge we were going for. Stick the nose through the, uh, the rock there. Aim a little right, step back, sprint jump, and jetpack just enough to get your head up around the bottom of that platform. And then boost and coast across. That takes practice. Once you get it, it's a neat trick to have in your arsenal. Okay. I'm just jumping up and jetpacking and across the gap there and into the Cortana building. We're, and we're actually making structure. pretty good time here.
breaking up, but coordinates received, Infinity. Okay, we're under this door, and I'm going to go ahead and smack it. It seems to get the Sentinel's attention a little quicker. Here he comes. See, he's the one that's got to open the door. All right. There we go. Into the elevator. And slow ride down. This elevator should take we're us on our way to the particle cannon All network control room. Wanted us to get the particle cannons offline. Not easy to say. This could be a trap. You say that like there's a second I'm possibility. Listening to uh, Cortana and the Chief Chitchat here. Door opens and off we go. We're running again. I'm gonna I'm gonna run till I run out of sprint and then do three bunny hops. One and a two and a three and then sprint. And continuing continue to do so until I get down to where I need to go here in this uh, particle cannon network control room. We've reached the coordinates. This looks like the place. And running bunny hop, running bunny hop. And put Cortana into the system so she can disable the two remaining particle, particle cannons. cannons. We took the two out that are represented by the silver symbols on the right. Uh, the two on the left, which are gold, are still active, and those are the ones she's got to deal with. And we're just going to mosey back on down here across from that door, closed doorway over there. And the cannons on the left just turn silver, which means they're offline. And then something grabs Cortana. In the system, and actually, it's the librarian, and the light bridge appears, and we're off and running again. Okay, a couple of bunny hops here into this alcove, turn left, into this alcove, turn right, through this open doorway, do a sprint jump, and a little jet pack down. And we're going to run into the light. And this is the beginning of a couple of minutes uh, cutscene that I'm going to skip. But it's a, li it's a librarian telling uh, the chief all about the didact and what a nasty fellow he is and buffing uh, the chief up with a DNA boost and armor boost and all kinds of boosts so he can take the didact on. So we're coming out of that now. And as soon as we regain control, like now, just run over to this little ramp up to that uh, terminal. And as soon as the waypoint appears, grab Cortana. How do we get out? Do a jump and jetpack across to this uh, walkway here. I'm making sure I got full uh, full health back. And now I'm just going to try to wind my way back and over these crawlers and through the open doorway. Duck left. Make sure the door closes behind me. Now in other runs, I would have I would have shot the uh, crawlers or tried to kill them with the grenades or whatever. But what again, this is a pacifist run, so. The library filled me in when she snatched me from the system. But what I don't know is what and she did to you. And we're going to come out and do the final skip here. We'll skip the final big battle and get to the gravity well behind the force field. Now, uh, in the other runs, I would go looking for a vehicle to hijack. Either grab that hog or, uh, or hijack the ghost. Now, what happens is, and I notice that I'm running along the cliff wall here. If I hijack... If I hijack the uh, hog and I got a gunner, it's very possible that the gunner is going to kill an enemy, which I don't want. And if I hijack a ghost, okay, unless I jump from the rock, press my face in, and jetpack up here, I'm going to do the same thing here. And this is an older technique that I had before I. Right, before I had the, uh, the nerve to start to hijack or grab vehicles. Okay, up here, and run across to here, up, up here, and across the chasm to here. You can see the force field off the distance, we're just working our way around to it. Anyway, the problem with hijacking a ghost, is, especially with Mythic and Tilt off, is that you can kill the elite. So I had a run, which I thought was pretty darn good, where I hijacked the ghost and took it up here close to the force field before I got up on the cliff face. And I looked at my stats, and I had uh, I had a vehicle kill and an elite kill, so that kind of killed the uh, 
no pun intended, kind of killed my pacifist run. It was probably a valid zero shot, but not a pacifist, so I'm trying to do both in one run. So I decided to go ahead and uh, take the slightly longer approach here. This is actually adding about 30 seconds to the run. And again, based on my calculations, uh, you'll see the screen go white as soon as I put the shot on the target. Display. Based on my own calculations, uh, my run time, my speed run time, is about 14 minutes and 58 seconds. Uh, I can I can do this run if I don't have to worry about uh, you know not killing anything. I can do this run a lot quicker, probably closer to 14, 15, 14, 20. But that's that. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the run. Uh, this is my pacifist zero shot speed run on a plane roll in Nike signing off.